A report is a list of records or data that meet the criteria defined by you. These reports exist in Salesforce in rows and columns. These can be filtered, grouped, or displayed in a graphical chart. Every report is stored in a folder, and folders can be public, hidden, or shared. To start, we're going to be looking at an already existing opportunity report. This will give us an idea of some of the tools we have to edit these reports. In the top right, in our tool, under our toolbar, you'll see an edit button. Once you open this edit button, you'll actually be able to see all the various point, the data points you can select to actually display in your report. So there's a variety of groups, group columns, and under the column section, you can actually see the highlighted options are the ones that are displayed in the report. Um, if you select these and break them down, you'll actually see um, some more options as to how you'd like to display this data. So some average maximum minimum for our expected revenue. Um, and this is just gonna change how this visually is displayed. Um, in addition, if you look at the little gear icon in the top right of our graph, there's some more chart property options. Um, these again are just visual standards that you can apply um, to the data that you have imported. Um, and you have some more choices as to what else you'd like to select and how you'd like to display this report. So the next thing we're gonna look at um, is also gonna be another report, um, this time looking at opportunity stages by region. So really demonstrating those uh, geographical capabilities that Salesforce has. So same thing, we're gonna go to our edit button and open up our menu here. And again, gonna notice that our selected columns, selected data point, it's highlighted amount, is displayed on the report. Um, and that's gonna be the sum of amount um, as I can show you here that is actually selected um, and also displayed on the report. It's a pretty standard feature there. Um, the difference here from this report and the previous one is actually looking at the group setting here. Before, that was empty. This time we actually have um, stages and regions. And you can see that um, coming to play on the report. So filters here are well used, um, very useful as well. Um, so first looking at how you can categorize what you're looking for and who it belongs to. So all opportunities, my opportunities, or your team's opportunities. Pretty useful tool just for categorizing and um, condensing reports. Um, big one, as always, is gonna be looking at that date filter. So if you have something specific in mind, you're looking for a specific month, specific quarter, a um, lot of preset options here um, for you to be able to play around with that and that will actually generate a new report for you based on how you're filtering and based on the dates you select. Um, opportunity status, so this one's pretty straightforward. If you want to look at closed one or closed opportunities that's different than open. Um, and then finally, um, looking at various you know, percentages of how likely this opportunity is actually to succeed. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. If you're looking for more Salesforce content, please subscribe to our channel and check out our Salesforce video playlist.